Claire Adams was a famous Hollywood silent film star who married a wealthy Victorian sheep farmer. She had a great passion for a lavish lifestyle and she also had a passion for rescuing homeless dogs. Here's her story. Claire Adams, who was born on September 24th, 1898 in Winnipeg, Canada. Her silent film acting career began in 1920. On April 1st, 1932, Claire Adams married Victorian grazier Donald, also known as Scobie McKinnon, in Mayfair, UK. And then in March 1938, Scobie brought Claire to Victoria, Australia. During her life in Australia, Claire was Vice President of the Lord Smith Hospital for Sick Animals, amongst many other accolades. Scobie and Claire never had any children. On September 25, 1978, the iconic screen legend passed away. Claire was an avid dog lover. She cared about all animals, but dogs were an important element to Claire and who she was as both a private person and as a public figure. True to her love of dogs and all animals, her lasting legacy is testament to what she cared about in life. Mooramong, in the suburb of Skipton, Victoria, Australia, was where Claire Adams and her second husband, Donald John Scobie McKinnon, lived. Mooramong is noted as a residence of decadence and social status and high society during its time, a residence where Claire's many dogs were always forefront in her life. A safe haven then, and under nurturing protection now, which capture her true spirit and love for all dogs. Muramong was bequested to National Trust upon Claire's death, which has set Claire's dreams of the property being used for ongoing flora and fauna projects and events, including upcoming projects and dog-friendly areas. Oh, hello. I'm Meredith Robinson. I'm the uh, property manager at Muramong Homestead, which is a National Trust property near Skipton in Victoria, and also was the home for a very long time of Claire Adams McKinnon and her husband, Donald Scobie McKinnon. Claire was a famous Hollywood film actress who acted in silent movies in the 20s and 30s. And she met Scobie, who was the most eligible bachelor in the Western District at the time, at a party in London. Their eyes met across the room and within three weeks they were married. Claire Adams made uh, nearly 50 movies, uh, many big, big films, uh, including one starring the original Rin Tin Tin. And the three main loves in her life were her husband, Scobie, and horses. She was a terrific horsewoman, did all her own stunts in these movies, um, which involved jumping on and off horses. Uh, and she starred alongside many uh, famous silent movie actors, but her, she always claimed that her favourite leading man was Rin Tin Tin. When Claire and Scobie arrived at Muramong in March 1938, after their year-long honeymoon, they immediately set about redecorating the house and remodelling it from its original Victorian construction into an Art Deco showpiece that we see today. Claire not only loved uh, to have many, many dogs, she also uh, collected many dog knickknacks, and they're evident in the house today. There is uh, a large collection of, of small and large dog knickknacks. Through the McKinnon's wide social circle of friends, uh, Claire met Dame Mabel Brooks of the Lord Smith Animal Hospital. She rescued many dogs from the Lord Smith Animal Hospital and uh, a lot of them either came up by train, uh, were sent up, um, or they were collected by Rolls-Royce from Lord Smith. Uh, and there is a story uh, that's quite famous about Claire and Scobie being in Melbourne one rainy night and seeing a dog on the side of the road and they were in the Rolls Royce and they actually, well, Claire could not stand the thought of this dog being left out in the rain and having, uh, you know, a miserable uh, existence. So she insisted on picking the dog up and bringing it back to Muramong um, to be taken care of with me, all the other dogs that were here. Muramong has quite cold winters and uh, often we have frost on the ground and Claire had these beautiful little booties specially made for her her doggies so that they didn't get cold paws when they went out in the very cold weather. Um, it just demonstrates once again her great love for animals um, and for dogs in particular. She particularly likes Scotty dogs and Border Collies and Spaniels, which is evident in the home movie, movies that uh, Claire and Scobie shot here at Muramong. Apart from the time and um, love that, that Claire demonstrated to many dogs that came from the Lord Smith Animal Hospital. 
Uh, the family were quite wealthy and donated quite generously to the Lord Smith Animal Hospital during their lifetimes. And upon Claire's death in 1978, uh, a very large lump sum was donated to the hospital. And since that time, the McKinnon Trust that was established by Scobie before he died uh, has made substantial grants to the Lord Smith Animal Hospital as well. Absolutely overwhelmed to read the kind of support that she had. She adopted a number of animals through Lord Smith and equally provided uh, a number of, uh, of very generous contributions both during her life and after her life. Claire was one for, for looking after herself in the most outrageous manner with clothing and things. She just, she couldn't resist clothes. She was just mad about clothes. And obviously, Miss Whiteman saw her coming in the door when she came in. I mean, you know, probably sent her out with a whole, whole, you know, covered thing full of clothes, I would think. I don't know. And the beautiful evening dresses she used to wear. Most, a lot of them would have been from the Louvre. So that, that, was, a, that was quite an interesting part. It's only just coming back to me now about the clothing. And I know that she... Um, when actually when Claire died, Lord Smith were left a, um, were left all her effects, not the expensive ones that would be at Mooramong, all the you know really expensive things, but just um, um, you might say hats, gloves, bags, all those things were left to us to sell, and we had a stall at the Lower Melbourne Town Hall. You cu you couldn't imagine anybody amassing say three trestle tables of gloves and or scarves, beautiful scarves or just decorative things. And we had a parade there of some of the clothes that were, well, they were the things that were left over, you might say, from, from that were taken by the trust. We made about $10,000 out of those, which was, you know, it was hard to believe, but they rushed in. It was like a jumble sale. You know, it's like people going to a jumble sale. They tore into the town hall. And that was, that was something that was very interesting about. Claire would have had a fit if she'd, if she'd been alive to see it. As Claire and Scobie had no children of their own, their dogs became their children, and particularly that was so for Claire. There were dogs running throughout the house. They had free reign. They were up on the couches with her. Um, they were, we had, puppies were born at Miramong here in, in various rooms. Um, and the dogs really were a very big part of their lives together here.